Hello, friends. Carl Pennypacker here again, trying to uh, help make a little, make some tools more useful for Orange County astronomer teachers. Excuse me, I got a, I had a little owie here, and I put some dust on it. Not uh, that's not anything too serious. So I'm gonna sh I'm gonna start and share my screen in just a second. Let me get the browser up. Okay, so. Okay, so I'm about to share screen and get the browser up. Okay, hang in there. Great, okay, there we are. So now we're gonna do something that uh, sort of started to become possible a few years ago, and that is being able to request an image from telescopes, from remote telescopes. And we've been blessed with uh, the Las Cumbres Observatory. They've been, uh, they've been very eager to share time with us and students all, the, all over the world. And they're really good people. I, I interact particularly with Edward Gomez, who's in Cardiff, but he's always just been wonderful and you know, trying to help at every instant. And it's, it's actually, some of your teachers might want to join in our, we have, uh, Oh, every six weeks, or every month we have a little seminar on how to use the telescopes. So much as OCA uh, is building a community amongst you, I'm hoping that uh, you, know, you can join the larger global community. And some of you may come to Global Hands-On Universe virtual meeting in September. I hope you can. Okay, so here we are in the browser. I'm going to just go right to the, I'm typing in kiosk.lco.global. That seems to be bookmarked. Now things will happen a little bit faster here because I've put I've left my password. Uh, my memory is is not so good, so I I uh, Firefox will remember my password and login. So when I get there, I'm I'm going to show you screen the well. There it is. Ha! Oh, you got it. Okay, so I have a a username and a password. Bonnie has kindly got those for you. So you log in. Okay. You select, then you select your project, which is 100 hours for 100 schools. And so there are two, there you, you can do, you can go out this two ways, which I think Bonnie described to you. And uh, let's, let's try to, uh, one way is you can, uh, okay, reset, you can, as Bonnie said, you can do suggestions, you can look at planets, galaxy stars, which is really nice. I mean. I go to nebula here, but a bunch of whole bunch of nebulae that are up right now. So that that's wow, jellyfish. I see 443. Ah, I I but, 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 I think I searched for that. It's a Sumbro remnant. Oh, hey, this is great, guys. I searched for a pulsar in that in my PhD thesis. Ha! I love it. So I'm, I want an image of I see 443, the jellyfish nebula. Okay, so I've submitted. Oh, ah. Can't get it. Oh my goodness, so it's not, a, it's behind the sun. Darn, okay. Well, I, I wanna get that later. Let's, let's look over galaxies. Here's, here's one, uh, we always love spirals, 40, okay, selected. And then a little information about it and submit. Actually, by the way, in terms of your, I think what's best for students is, uh, we went over this, Bonnie went over this, uh, before, but I think starting off, uh, you you should have them go to uh, uh, the wiki for Messier uh, for Messier objects. It's e it's easily found on Google. First thing it pops up, Messier objects. Actually, Charles Messier was a very interesting guy. He is, as many of you know, he was searching for comets, which were highly valuable objects from the Hotel Cluny in, in downtown Paris. Paris was uh, dark at night, but he was, able, he was able to find a lot of comets. He also found these fuzzy things he hated, which are Messier objects. It turns out, in some ways, he was discovering the universe. It wasn't until early uh, 20th century that we started to understand it. Here's Mr. Mess, Doc, Mr. Messier, one of my heroes. A little bit of a dandy, but that's, that's okay. So this, this is, I think, is a very well-organized wiki. You know, it has, has great pictures. So I would have your students, you know, um, 
maybe you can have students get uh, every people try to get a different object. Maybe you know it's so some people can get a globular cluster, some people get a nebula, some people, etc. So that this in a way you're starting to understand the universe when you when you go to this wiki because these are all crazy crazy things. They're they're composed most of them are composed of stars, but in, arranged in interesting ways. Uh, often with dust and gas that lights them up in, in, in beautiful, beautiful ways. So, you know, uh, I, and actually in terms of lesson plans, we discussed this, I would have the students start off with a, go, go, to, uh, go to the web page, select an object, then make a picture of it, and okay, uh, draw it may on, 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 on big piece of paper with color, they love that try to make it as accurate as possible, then write a little uh, story about it, what it is and explain it and then present it to the class. So you accomplish about 10 good things in education that way, to my mind. You know, you get, you get kids to uh, think about an object, they understand the universe. They don't have to understand the whole universe, just one thing. And most of them know what a star is, which is where our starting point is. But then they can start talk about dust, about ga gas, about elliptical galaxies, about spiral galaxies. So anyway, I, I think uh, God gave us, I know that uh, Doug went to theological school. So I, you know, I, I, I believe in God in, in some form, but I think God gave us Messier objects for astronomy, for astronomy lessons in class. Okay, sorry, sorry for the uh, ministry. Anyway, so here's, now, now once, once you'll get an email and you can come back, log into your kiosk, and we should cover this a little bit. I, I want to go over it a little more slowly. We're going to go try to get an image. And I, I had requested M51. So, so there it is. That's the red, green, and blue. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at that. The bridge between the satellite galaxy and the present galaxy. Remember, in my, one of my videos, I showed you how to, uh, how to uh, do slice and plot profile, which is very interesting. So, so I, I clicked... Let me just may I'll show you that again. I I, I clicked on. Um, gee, how did I get back there? Okay, I clicked on this thing right underneath. That's it's not they, that's that should be a lot better. When you can download the object right here as JPEG, or you can also go to here, and th this is kind of fun. You can actually. Uh, Okay, you can click on the word, another hidden thing here, click on the word data, okay, and you get all the R, G, and B images that were made for this. So you go to, um, you know, I'll get the reduced, the reduced are better. Here's the red, uh, the visual, and the blue reduced. And then you, uh, let's see, I guess, I guess I'll, Oh, I'll download selected. There we go. Download selected. Those will pop into my download. I, I don't want to open them. Or I guess I it's a zip file. What the heck? So I'll I'll uh, this will open them, and I'll get these images out in my download folder. Uh, it's opening at some place. Okay, there. Where is it? It's in downloads. So I'm going to uh, click. Gee, can I click and drag this? I've been having a little bit of trouble with my Mac clicking and dragging it. But anyway, I think this this will complete. This is the first lesson. That is how to request an image, you know, and the class activity, and then how to download it. The next lesson will be combining the R, B, and G, uh, R, R, B, and V images into one color image, which I think is a great achievement for kids to know about. You know, that's true with every camera. There's an R, R, it's an R pixel, a B pixel, and a V pixel, you know, and, and your, your eye and your, your, your phone is always combining them for you, but here we get to do it. So there's a lot of good things about this. So anyway, so uh, let us, we'll keep, we'll keep uh, going on this. I'll, I'll, I'll make this short, I'll save it and send it to you. Hope you're doing well. Thank you, thank you, you guys are great. You guys and gals are great. I need you. Let's go on forever. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye now.